So we're into a new decade in real life and we're in 2021 in Football Manager 2020. That's a lot of 20s I've just said there. Uh, roll the intro. No, I won't stop. And welcome back to the Folks in the Victor Save. I am Cultured Left Foot. It's a pleasure to have you with me. We are trying to get Folks in the Victor all the way from the Ishman Premier Division to the Champions League. And we've successfully gone up one division already. And we're today in the FA Trophy looking at taking on Chesterfield Town City. Just, just Chesterfield. Just, just, just Chesterfield. Okay. Um, they're in the division above us, so it's going to be a tough game. But in the last round, we did beat Harrogate in the replay. Uh, Hartlepool, sorry, in the replay, who were a division above us as well. And uh, we beat them 1-0, which is great. McKenzie getting a goal again. They got a man sent off, which made it a little bit easier for us. But a good 1-0 win. We followed that with a 3-0 win away at Hampton and Richmond, where we took 43 of the Folkestone Ultras with us. Uh, McKenzie getting another go. Agaba Toma getting a goal. And Johan Terhorst as well. We then beat Hornchurch 2-0. Uh, Terhorst and Agaba Toma again. Set pieces are paying off. Um, and Concord Rangers. Johan Terhorst getting a brace there. A 2-0 win. And then we lost to Braintree. Which was absolutely shocking. Because they were dreadful. Um, Johan Terhorst and Spong got in our goals. But Donovan with the decisive goal in the 73rd minute. Yeah, not very good. But we have just beaten Oxford City 3-2 with uh, Finn O'Mara and McKenzie popping up in the 90th and the 92nd minute. It's been it's incredible. But uh, yeah, McKenzie has been on form as he is in real life. He's played two games for folks in the Victor, scored two goals, both coming off the bench. Absolutely lovely stuff. Um, yes, he has six goals in ten appearances overall for the club. And uh, also in, in 2021, I should say. But uh, no, he, that's not true. He, yeah, it is just for us. Uh, three in the cup. In the cup, he is three from three. So he will be getting a start in berth today. But we've slightly changed our tactics for today's game because I think Chesterfield are so much better than us that, uh, yeah, we're going to go into a 4-1-4-1 counter-attacking formation because I think it will it should suit our players pretty well. So we're going to do well. Let's see what Ross thinks. You think we should play Casper O'Connor, Agabatoma, Omara, Muscoli. Oh, Muscoli, new signing. Um, I said I need a new left back, so we've brought in um, Jamie Mas Mascol. Mascol, not Muscoli. Muscol. And um, good physically, okay stats technically and mentally. Comes with uh, pedigree highest of Charlton. Was uh, on trial at Hashtag United, and that's where we picked him up. He's not been brilliant, but he just gives us a different option to to matter which is helpful um bramble in the middle dennis gardner smith spong and saravia is what ross says we should play interesting tear horse up front i think that is probably what we will go for we'll take newcomb off the bench though and we'll put um iggy on the bench jealous is on there that's good rossi's on there glean is on there as well i'm going to put jackson jr on there instead of glean um, right, Saravia. It turns out having a really good set piece taker makes a massive difference to scoring goals. Um, three assi uh, nine assists he's already got us this season from free kicks. It's absolutely ridiculous how good he is at putting a ball in. So he is our starting left winger for the moment. We have also released a few people. Um, so we knew Askew was leaving to go to Rotherham. He has gone. Uh, he is there. Yeah, he's there. Valued at 5.5k, but I don't think he's really going to hit any heights. Uh, Ron Ben Hemo was a youngster who's gone on loan to Hythe, so he should be playing uh, pretty well for them there. Two 6.55, not the best, but he is uh, playing for them there. We have also, if we go to transfer history and go, not all transfers. I want uh, released players. Uh, we released Jesse Starkey, who obviously we signed. He wasn't getting much game time. He was on a he was on a wage as well, which was a bit of an annoyance. He, he was playing well, but uh, his his game time was limited, and we couldn't afford to keep him around on a and a weekly salary when we weren't playing him. So he's been released and has not been picked up by anyone yet. Um, Callum Davies asked to leave his contract, so we let him go. A bit of a shame because I, 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 he didn't get much game time when he played. He played pretty really well. But he just wasn't getting into our team with the new centre-backs. And he asked to cancel his contract. So I just said yes. Because, again, he was on a, a weekly wage and we couldn't afford to do it. Uh, we let a few other people go as well. So uh, Samuel Bacchetto has gone. Billy Holmes has gone. And I think that's going back into into the summer that we did. But, yeah. Uh, everything else is going pretty well, though. The club has seen a high turnover of playing staff resulting in many players having been with the team for different lengths of time. Henry Newcomb now wants to leave as well. Chris Hurst. Scott Hurd wants to leave. 
Um, we, so that he's transfer listed, but no one's coming in for him at the moment. Uh, we're looking at potentially moving on Odyssey Spy Rides as well. I just, I just think he's going to be something useful, but whether we're going to see it at this club or not, I don't know. But uh, let's, uh, let's, yeah, let's try that then. Let's get into the game. We're going to go up with this team. We've got a good strong bench in there as well. The new counter attacking. 4-1-4-1. Let's see how we get on and see if we can go and beat Chesterfield and break them down uh, and get in there. They're lining up in a 4-4-2. Um, oh, Alfie Payne. I really wanted to sign Alfie Payne. And he moved to Chesterfield on a free. He's on my shortlist. I will be ringing him in at some point, hopefully. Um, but yeah, uh, any other names that recognise? Yarny used to play for Newcastle. I recognise him. Oh, man. They're going to be... Uh, yeah, they're good. How have they fallen this low in, in football? Anyway, um... Let's go and say, give the fans their... Oh, do we pile on the misery? No, go and give the fans their money's worth. Brilliant. Casper did not like that in goal. But I have faith. That's turned Casper around. We have faith, we have faith, we have faith. Ross, you can... Oh, four players you've told us to do something against. Okay, here we go. Our wide pitch in Folkestone. We've made it wide. I think next year we're actually going to make it a little bit longer as well. Um, try and get a really big pitch so that we can have more space because we've got pretty skilled players to be honest compared to the rest of the uh, division. Saravia comes forward his cross slash pass is blocked by Wakefield and Mandeville picks it up but uh, yeah it's been going alright and folks in real life on fire. Saravia I've been bigging up his free kicks and he set that one straight into the wall and he uh, lays it back sensibly to Bramble. So Bramble goes wide but it doesn't go to anyone so yeah, folks, then, is it back-to-back 4-0 -back wins I think they've had on uh, Boxing Day and then New Year's Day, which is very, very good for them. As uh, Wakefield fires in a free kick, it's at a back post, and I think Muscoli got his head to the ball. Yarny into Evans. Evans shoots, and Casper touches it over the bar. And uh, let's just demand a little bit more of them 15 minutes in. We have had more shots, but this isn't the same tactic we usually work. This is the counter-attacking tactic, so uh, I am looking to... I mean, we don't have as much possession as normal, but I am looking for us to sort of give it up and invite Chesterfield forward and then hit them on the break. As uh, Finn O'Mara goes long looking for Tear Horse. Everybody's missed it. Johan Tear Horse will get on the end of it. Lays it back to Muscol. Is he going to put a cross? And he does towards the back post. Dennis is there and he's got to do better. The ex-Arsenal youth player. He was offside anyway, but he really should be doing better in that much space. He's been moaning about lack of first team football as well, so we're going to give him a bit of a run out. Um, I'm not too sure how well he's going to do um, I think his I think he's one of those players that he's either going to play really really well or not get into the game enough he's a flair player and I'm not sure we can afford to carry someone like that at this stage but we'll give him the whole season and see how he gets on obviously there's always a high turnover of staff in lower leagues because everyone gets like one or two year contracts and it's really hard to manage it um, oh so we're going to half time nil nil not bad not bad um, We've been the better team. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that and give them the motivation, and try and get lots of green on that board, which we do, which is good. Um, let's go into the second half then. We're obviously this is a much more defensive shape, and it is helping us out. Let's go. Just we'll just notch, notch it up to positive and see if that makes a difference. As Taylor comes forward with it from the left hand side for Chesterville, back to Payne, out to Buchanan, and you can see how rigid we keep our four and all, the four at the back and the one in midfield. We do keep it very, very strict and rigid in there. So let's demand more. Arnold over the free kick. Hit the first one into the wall. This one's overall. Casper touches it around the post. A lovely save. And Chesterfield are just going to come into it. I think 60 minutes. If it's still nil-nil, we're going to go to the attacking formation that we normally play and try and hit them when they're a little bit tired. Wakefield ball in. McKay with a header over the bar. Look like... Because it's dots on the screen, I'm going to say it looked like he was fouling Agapatoma there. But uh, yeah, see, Saravia is not enjoying this game. Spong, Gardner-Smith... We're struggling to get the midfield in. Okay, let's go five minutes earlier than I said we would. Da, da, da. This is our new attacking formation, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Tearhorst up there. Bramble is playing well, I think. So I think he can stay on 6.5. Yeah, so we'll bring you there for Spong. And Spong's going to come off. To be, oh, I didn't put McKenzie on the bench. Has he got a knock? Damn it. Um, do I go Jackson Jr. or do I go Matter? I'm going to go Matter, I think. We haven't seen him too much as a striker. Let's see what he can do. Let's see what he can do. Change of formation to go to a slightly different attacking formation with the 4-4-2. And uh, they're in behind straight away. McKay O'Mara uses his pace well to get there into Mascol. Mascol just got a short pass there to Gardner-Smith. He goes long looking for Saravia. Flick that one if he can. He can't get there. 
My skull will pick it up. He goes down the line, and that's really bad. Arnold across the pain. Alfie Payne into Yarny. The two ex Premier League boys linking up with each other. Wakefield to McKay. McKay tackled well by O'Mara, and he's God, he's just managed to hold onto the ball. Thought he was going to lose it. Over the top into Mata. Mata the sub. Can he stick it away? Mata. It's a terrible shot, and it hits the inside netting. Oh, again, it just shows the uh, the capabilities, though, that we've got in this squad. We can mix it up with formations, which is really good to have at this level. Maskell, Saravia. Saravia comes forward down the left-hand side. He's still going. Lots of pace. He's got a bit of flair about him as well. Puts a cross in. And it's really shit, but that's a poor header. Gardner-Smith. Per Bramble. Back to Gardner-Smith. Into Ter Horst. Ter Horst has dropped out. That's a good ball out to Maskell. Onto his left foot. Put a cross in. He's got round his man. Evans heads it away. Taylor's there. Dennis will pick it up. Then his turns. Oh, that's a terrible shot. Terrible shot. But we're creating the chances in a in a, what's been a pretty poor game. I think Saravia is going to come off in a minute. Wakefield. Ball in. Evans with a header. He's hit the bar and Dennis hoofs it away. Let's go uh, Jackson Jr. for Saravia. We're actually going to put Matter onto the left wing now. And Jackson Jr. can sit up there as a uh, poacher. With Tear Horse just dropping into the gap a little bit. And then the next, I think, will be Gardner Smith for. Or do we do Iggy? Uh, I've got Iggy at right back or Gardner Smith for Jacob Jealous. Either way, Taylor out to the left hand side. I think it's going to be Iggy because they're trying to. Oh, he's putting a good tackle there. Come on, Dennis, get the ball. McKay is in late scale. Oh, well, I couldn't get my words out. Acres of space is what I was trying to say. Let's uh, demand a bit more from them. Bramble, Gardner Smith. Yeah, O'Connor's. Just gone up a rating. Let's roll the dice. Right, Jermaine Jealous on for Gardner Smith. Let's switch you two over. Come on, Jealous. You've been instrumental to us this season. You've been really, really good. And last season, obviously. But uh, we need a bit of magic from somebody right now. They're still sticking with the 4 4 2. They've just changed to a 4 1 4 1. Agavatoma, Bramble into Dennis. Dennis on the right hand side, Captain Field. He's got the overlap from Iggy. Ball across. He's looking for Matter. Matter will pick it up from that poor header. Jealous tried to lay that into Tear Horst. He just had to check his run and come back on side though. Wharton has it. He goes long. McKay beaten in the air by O'Mara. Jackson Jr. looking for Matter, but it's poor. And Minihan picks it up. Minihan comes forward and Muscol puts in a great tackle and gets on the loose ball as well. O'Mara. Jealous. Back to O'Mara. He goes long looking for Tear Horst, but Yarny wins the header. Whelan. Wheeling, oh, it's a poor pass. Jealous. Out left to Matter. Matter beats his man. The left back come striker, come left winger. Matter's through one on one. Matter. Across goal. Dennis puts it into the back post, and it's his third goal of the season. I said he had to step up, and he's done it. What a counter attack that is. Absolutely brilliant. And uh, Matter here, great run through the rain. Look at this. I thought he was going to get here and shoot. And I, is it a shot? I think it, well, I don't know. It might even be. It's not given an assist, so I think he was just tackled at the last minute. Um, let's give him some praise. Let's just drop down to balanced. Don't look for the overlap anymore. Uh, don't need to play at a higher tempo. Um, don't really pass it into space. Don't need to work the ball into the box. We'll keep playing for set pieces. Let's just drop these down ever so slightly. And we will regroup so that we don't get done on the, on the turn. Do we need to counter or do we just hold our shape? No, let's, yeah, we'll keep the counter on just in case because they should be chucking a few more men forward. As uh, Maskol into Mata. Mata again. Made a difference since he's come on. In, uh, and actually made a difference since he's been moved to that left back, uh, that left wing position. Maskol wins the header. Tear horse picks it up. Yarny with a good tackle. And um, he's going to be a Minihan who has lots of time on the ball. You can see us there. Not going to counter press them now. Just going to drop into our shape. As uh, Omara wins that. Maskol should get there. And does. Over the top. Evans reads that easily. Brown. Well, Jackson Jr. is in acres of space if we can pick him out. But we couldn't. Jealous. Comes through into Tear Horse. Wakefield comes on the loose ball. It's cleared away. Omar is there again. The back uh, two. Well, Omar definitely. Agapatoma, I think, has played well as well. Mandeville comes forward with it. He's still running, Mandeville. Into Arnold. Arnold. That's a pass to nothing. Uh, Anamanchi looked quick there. Mascol's caught on the ball. And Amachi, ball across McKay. Great tackle again by O'Mara. And Jealous and O'Mara interchange passes to get the ball away. And with five minutes to go, we're nearly there. We are nearly, nearly there. Two minutes, McKay into Minihan. Looking over the top. O'Mara with a header. Tear Horse picks it up. Back to Bramble. Bramble looking for Jackson Jr., but it's just a bit of a wasted pass. Yarny 
My skull with a header down to matter. Now look at this. We've got Terhorst and Jackson Jr. in the middle making runs. Terhorst is in acres of space. Johan Terhorst and Wharton taps it over the bar. And um, let's just go very quickly. Corners attack. Mm, you can stay back. And you can stay back. <laughs> and you can stay. Oh, that's enough. We can't keep any more people back. Uh, and from this side, you can stay back. And you can stay back just so that we don't get caught on the counter-attack we'll make those changes right now so we should yeah look at these numbers we're keeping we're keeping numbers back as uh it's going to be an in-swinger from jacob jealous and there's obviously no one in the box so that's oh, fine though it's gone over everyone's head dennis keeps it in play and doesn't quite get it back from wheeling amanachi on the right hand side for chesterfield who know they've got to make something happen let me let me let me give them some praise omara agabatoma Back to Omara. Over the top looking for Tear Horse. He's beaten in the air by Yarni, but Jealous picks it up. Jealous out to Mascol. Mascol, he's got uh, Mata down the line who's there. The defender is going to come towards him. Mata wins a corner. And that's fine. Let's eat up some time. So team instructions. All the bloody time. Eat up. Waste all the time. Waste it all. Waste all the time in the world. As uh, There is about 20 seconds to go. Mandeville, Buchanan. Buchanan goes all the way back. Let's. Uh, we're going to go to a cautious mentality now. 15 seconds to go. Wakefield is beaten in the air. Jealous. Long ball over the top. Jackson Jr. Jackson Jr. is just going for the corner. Jackson Jr. tries to square it. Wins the corner. And that should be the game. Which means our FA Trophy run will continue. And there it is. The full-time whistle. We get a 1-0 win. We beat a team in the division above us yet again. That was absolutely incredible. Um, good game management all round there. Oh... Just got to take that into the league now. Take this form back into the league so that we can keep on going. Yes. Yes. Loving it. FA Trophy. We got to the final last year. This year we want to go and win it. 5k, which is very much needed because uh, I'm really overspending on the old wage budget. Um, yeah, which isn't helpful. But, uh, yeah, very, very good. Love that. Love that stuff. Um, let's go and see who we get in the fourth round. Who beat us in the final? Was it Stourbridge last year? Was it? It wasn't Hornchurch. I think it was Stourbridge. Oh yeah, we've got to talk about Hornchurch. I forgot about that. Um, he wants it to reflect the fact. It's big thing. His playing time wants to reflect. That he's a prospect on the verge of a first team breakthrough. Um, Agapatoma, just go and tell him to. You know, he'll get opportunities when they arrive. Okay, you didn't. Okay, we'll just leave it at the moment. It says he's not expecting anything from me at the moment. Well, I'm, I probably should put him on the bench. He probably does offer us something. Uh, something quite useful. Um, and we've got no offers for spy rides and offers for herd okay that's not a problem but uh, yeah if we go when we played uh, Hornchurch and we won 2-0 they had old um, Oluwabasalu in goal and he created a chance and had one key pass also made one of the worst attempts at a save I think it was Agapatoma's goal um, I think it was absolutely dreadful where he just sort of went Ah, and it hit his hands and still went in. So, uh, is it this one where it just like goes straight to him? Yeah, it is. It's that one where he really, 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 really should have should have saved it. Um, ooh, where's the corner? Is that the corner? Um, let's just quickly go into uh, behind the goal. I think this is the right one. Yeah, so Woodward uh, that was taking his time. I mean, look at the look at the stats. We absolutely lost seven half chances, five clear cut. We absolutely annihilated them. There's the header, and he just sort of mar, mar, and punches it into his own net. So that that goes to prove that I was correct in letting him go. But let's go find out who we get in the FA Trophy fourth round: Cheltenham Town, York City, Ashford United, and Money Moneyfield would be lovely. I think we'd smash. I do want an easy run to the final. That's what I want. So uh, there's quite a lot of teams in here. So draw next. Basing Stoke, Curzon, Ashton, Kettering, Ashford, Scarborough, Billericay, Hemel Hempstead, Potters Bar. I'll take, will I take them? Yeah, I'll take Potters Bar. Moneysfield, Halifax Town, bollocks. Uh, Boston United or Chester will be playing Telford or Eastern Borough. Farsley, Lewes, Wealdstone, Grays, Southport, Witten, Albion, Alvechurch or Whitby Town, Chester Hunt, Searancester Town or Kings Langley. Boreham Wood, so we're in it and we're running out of teams now. Fylde or Cambridge City, Dulwich Hamlet or Leatherhead, so we we want Whiteleaf I think, or maybe Grantham Town. Um, York City are getting Grantham Town, which means we're playing Whitleaf. Whiteleaf, Whiteleaf, Whiteleaf. 
who are in the Ishman South Eastern Division, but top of it by some margin. Okay, maybe not to be taken lightly then. Charlie Ferguson is their hot prospect. He used to play for Brighton and he's 21. He, surely he's in their starting 11, yeah. Uh, let's let's just have a cheeky little look at him, shall we? Um, their key player is Ronald Sobawale. Uh, English, what pedigree is he? Not much pedigree, but he is a key player for them. Striker, 11 in 30. We sort of, I feel like we should be able to sort of overpower them. We are a better team, so... Uh, oh, they've got Alan Johnston on loan from us. Oh, wow, is he playing? 10 goals in 25. He's a, Next year as well. There might not be as many signings. If if we get promoted, there probably will be quite a lot of signings because we need to improve the squad. If we don't get promoted, I'm probably going to give a lot of the people that we've got out on loan will probably come back and uh, have a chance in the team. So if we just go to not a club, look at all these people we've actually got out on loan. So we need to go through these and decide who wants to play. So people like Stuart Curran, I think it'll be good enough to have a chance in the game um, Alan Johnston the striker we score Ricky Wiltshire has come through our youth academy he'll probably be a decent effort to have um, and then look at these people who have like good average ratings Jack Campbell uh, on alone at Tame is some way off the first team but he's playing very well out in the lower divisions so I think it'd be a decent opportunity to give these people uh, a go and I think that's something that we do need to uh, remember and keep an eye on that we do have these people at the club but anyway we're going to leave this episode here only a short one today so thank you so much for watching if you're new please do subscribe uh, subscribe account is still going up which is great and um, yeah leave a like on the video every like helps the channel out massively and more people can find us the more likes and comments are on the video below um, next week we I'll be asking you a question so hopefully that will drum up some comments as well so please do leave the comments they do help a lot thank you so much for watching but for now I'm out cheers